In this video, we will see how to write the equations for hyperbolas from its graphs. Here we have been given graphs of hyperbola. Now, how can we understand which is what the orientations are different, right? So first you need to understand how it's oriented. This is about y, y axis. So it'll be y squared first by a squared. A squared is the length from its vertices minus x squared by b squared. So this is the minor part, the x squared ones equals 1. Whereas over here, the right side, it's along the horizontal axis. It will be x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equals 1. But if you know the formulas, it's not enough. How do we write, this, uh, write the values over here, a squared and b squared values? Look over here, the vertex is very important. Whatever is the distance between the vertex is 2a. This is 2a. So half of that will give you the a value. Now here, since it's along the origin, we can see it's minus 5, 5. So the distance over here is 5. So all I do is x squared by 5 squared minus what is the b squared value? This is along this over here somewhere. It will be something like this over here and over here that points. But we don't have that distance, right? The minor axis, it's not given. But you know the focus point. Focus point is 7. There is a formula that relates all this. C squared equals A squared minus, sorry, A squared plus B squared. So I can easily find B squared value from these two. So B squared will be equal to C squared minus A squared. B squared equals, what is C squared? C, C value is the focus values, that is over here, 7. 7 squared minus, we know, A squared is 5 squared. So it'll be 49 minus 25, that will be 24. So B squared value is 24. So all I do is over here write it as 24 equals 1. So the final answer will be X squared by 25 minus Y squared by 24 equals 1. Similarly, we can solve this over here. We know the A squared is 6 squared. So it'll be 36 here minus x squared by what is the b value over here it will be something over here how do we do that is now that this is not at all accurate but now how do we solve that is it will be c squared equals a squared plus b squared so b squared value will be c squared that is 64 c value is 8 64 minus 36 and the answer over here is 28 so you can directly write it as 28 equals 1 so these are the equations of these hyperbolas. So the first one is y squared by 36 minus x squared by 28 equals 1. And over here was the second one. These are the answers. Now look over here. The difference is the minus y squared over here minus x squared. And the last two problems here. The same formulas. Now looking at this, I can tell this is along the horizontal axis. x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equals 1. But we do not have focus points here. But they have given the b value directly. See this over here, this is horizontal, right? That is a value. This is the b value. They have already given us. So it's very easy, in fact, this one. So all I need to do is x squared by this is a value from here 0 to 8. That will be the a value. Total is 2a. So it'll be 8 squared. That is 64 minus. Now don't take this 8. These are all on the same line, isn't it? This is the B value. Over here it is minus Y squared by B value is 5 squared is 25 equals 1. Similarly, over here also we can solve it. X, sorry, it's not X squared here. It's Y squared by A squared minus X squared by B squared equals 1. Now what is A? That is this from year to year. And the point is 0, 8. It's again 64. And what about this? It is 9, that means 81. So this is the answers. Very simple, just by looking at the graphs, you can easily understand it. x squared by 64 over here, minus y squared by 25 equals 1. And we had 64 minus x squared by 81. That, those are the answers. Please try to solve them by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, please post them in the comments. I will try to get back to you very soon.